Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices and the big tech stocks in the United States. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, January 13th, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we have been a little bit back and forward. We fell uh, quite drastically early in the session, roughly fell roughly one uh, percent. But uh, at this point, uh, this is going most likely going to be a continuation of uh, this uh, channel. So we have been in this channel since uh, basically the beginning of uh, in November. So this is basically the the reaction to the U uh, U.S. election. It fell drastically, and then um, Biden was basically elected president and won the election and this basically skyrocketed, skyrocketed from the very lows to the very highest and within uh, one and a half week we were up roughly 12.74 uh, percent uh, we fell back then and now we have been in this channel and we have been trading within this channel so we hit the top of the channel on on, um, on last friday and then we have basically fallen uh, gradually towards the lower part of the channel which basically is the 20 exponential moving average so this is at um, uh, 3750 give or take as most likely where we're heading to and then we'll rally from there up towards the upper part which is roughly 3800 and uh, 3900 or 3885 give or take so wait until it gets down towards the 20 exponential and that if it turns around here then that is basically your target in the long run we're heading all the way up towards uh, 4000 but channels are fantastic trading opportunities because they're fairly predictable uh, touching the rejecting rejection from the top of this channel is basically a selling opportunity and then a buying opportunity and then just go uh, back and forward within that channel technical indicators as you can see they are well they are kind of bearish you can see that we were way outside of the bullinger band here that's why we fell and we are going to head back towards the middle of the bullinger band the stochastic is turning around the cr macd is also becoming flat we are on the edge of being overbought and the cci is turning around so it is an indication that we are most likely going to head towards the bottom within uh, tomorrow's session or thursday uh, thursday or friday sessions so but pullbacks are buying opportunity. So let's look at the Dow Jones. Jones. Very similar thing here. We had the very highs here. We're basically at, we have been here for the last four trading days. Nothing really has happened. And usually when you don't break out, you basically go the other way. We were way outside of the Bollinger Band and a pullback towards the middle from here um, towards uh, 30,000. 446 that is most likely where we are heading within the next few trading days that's roughly 1.83 percent to the downside um, when we get there the target will most likely be uh, 31,500 um, so give or take so if you look at technical indicators the stochastic is turning around the rsi is taking flat at this point and the, um, we are the edge of being overbought uh, the macd is becoming flat and the cci is also flat so it is just a matter of time before we break to the downside towards the 20 exponential um and there is your base your entry or the buy, uh, possibility to buy into this market with a target of 31,500. so let's look at the nasdaq so the nasdaq has been uh, um, has fallen more aggressively compared to the other indices uh, we fell towards the uh, support level here at the 20 exponential and pulled back um, so at this point we are most likely either going to retest um, this support line which will mean that we will fall additional one percent to the downside or we are going to basically rally from here up towards the top of the channel and that is roughly 13,200 or 250 give or take so in the other way if it falls back it is basically a buying opportunity 
if it starts rallying from here, then there's a short um, trend towards a trade up towards the 13,250 uh, area. If you look at the technical indicators, they are, uh, they are mixed at this point. Stochastic is looking like it's turning around. CCI, RSI is flat. The CCI is becoming negative. And the um, MACD is underneath the signal line. We hit the 20 moving average here in the bullish band and then pull back quite aggressively. So the reason why we fell the last two days is because we were outside of the bullish band. We were very, very overextended. And um, this kind of means that we most likely will uh, rally up towards the bullish band yet again. I would be surprised if we fell below the 20 moving average in the bullish band because that will also mean that we would break uh, this um, channel here and then we most likely see this um, indice go much lower. Uh, so let's look at the tech stock. So Tesla is up 5.82%. Um, I was expecting Tesla to fall today, but uh, apparently we are going sideways. We were way outside of the bullish band here and it was expected to fall. It also fell quite aggressively, roughly 9.13, uh, 14%, uh, uh, and now we rallied yet again. But I do expect this to drop towards the middle of the bullish band or the 20 moving average, and that is a drop of 15.8%. After that, we will continue this rally up towards uh, $800 and $900 a share. If you look at the technical indicators, we are significantly overbought. So uh, pullback is expected here. Um, subs subsequently, uh, the stochastic is very is turning around, crossing the signal line. It has become bearish. MACD is bullish. The CCI is flat. But a pullback towards the 20 exponential or roughly $730. Uh, dollars a share that is your entry point so that's an additional fall of roughly at this point roughly uh, 15 point uh, 50 percent so facebook it has been an absolutely a horrible stock to hold so i think we'll probably reach the bottom of the market now i said that yesterday but yet again today we fell over two percent at the most we went all the way down to 251 dollars a share and at this point i would be very surprised if we fell significantly lower uh, at this point i think if we are going lower we have the 200 moving average right here at uh, around the 247 and that is going to be absolute bottom of this market um, after that we are most likely going to rally up towards the 150 and then these uh, the uh, 20 exponential moving average which is here at 268 so both facebook and for example google have been um, and you can basically say twitter as well have been uh, basically trashed by the news for quite some time now and that has taken its toll on this stock price there is no good news about twitter there's no good news about facebook um basically everything they're doing at the moment is um well, uh, is seen in a bad light, and um, that is not never good for for a stock. But I think that people will see that we will mostly reach the bottom here, and uh, they will find value, and they will basically buy this. They don't really care about the news when they can see that is becoming really cheap. So if you look at technical indica indicators, they are still fairly uh, bearish. MACD is bearish. The stochastic is bearish. The CCI is bearish. The RSI is becoming flat, it's on the edge of being oversold, and that's a fairly rare thing for Facebook stock. It rarely gets oversold, and when it does, for example, here, also down here, you see these massive rallies to the upside. This was a rally of almost 46%, and uh, this was a rally of roughly 17.9%. So usually when it gets oversold, there is a massive rally um, afterwards the next month or month and a half. So at this point, we are buying it down here. Our target in the beginning is 292, which is the previous highs here, but that can always change. We are way outside of the Bollinger Band and uh, pull back towards the 20 exponential 
or the 20 moving average at 100, 270. That is very likely at this point, at least. So Apple. Apple is just stuck right here. The 240 exponential is basically the bottom of this market. It is just a matter of time before we start it going back to the upside. Uh, we've been here for nearly a week now, and uh, it is not going to break the 40 exponential. And therefore, the target is most likely in the beginning, the highest here of 139, which is roughly nearly 10% increase. So, so that is a very, very good trade. Uh, technical indicators are still not ready. They are still fairly bearish, but um, a trade here is very plausible to the upside. So, so we have Microsoft. So Microsoft fell also today. We're down 1.14%. Uh, we found the support here at the 100 moving average, which we have for many, many, many times back in here in the past. Uh, we basically broke down to the 150 here, but the 100 has been basically an area of massive uh, support. And we have the 150 underneath here. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see a rally from here towards uh, these highs, which is at the top of the bullish band, and that is uh, at $227 a share. If we look at technical indicators, they are looking bad, really bad, but we are getting overstretched. Uh, we are at the 39 here in the RSI, which is very low for the stock. Uh, other technical indicators are still very bearish. We're at the bottom here at the bullish band, or pull back from the bottom, and that's a good sign. So we are at least head towards the 20 moving average, which is up 1.48%. Uh, but if we break above that, then we're heading to these highs. So let's look at Amazon. So Amazon has found support here at the 150 moving average. And now I think this stock is going to turn around. So the first target is these highs here, and that's an increase of roughly 7.46%. Technical indicators are, some of them are still very bearish, the MACD, the CCI, Stochastic is turning around now, but we are very overstretched here, and when we hit the bottom of the Bullinger Bound, we rallied. The last time we hit the bottom of the Bullinger Bound, we rallied roughly 6.2%. So a buy-in here, stop loss underneath the target of these highs, that is, um, that is a good trade. So Netflix. Also, similar to, to Facebook, horrible stock to hold at the moment. It is just dropping and dropping and dropping. It hopefully has found the bottom. We are way outside of the bullish band. We are on the edge of being oversold. And uh, technical indicators like the MACD, CCI, Stochastic are not turning around yet. But the 200 moving average is here at the 477. And that will most likely be a significant support. So... A buy-in roughly this area, target of these highs are roughly 545. That is a very plausible trade. So that is roughly a gain of $14.43 uh, this trade. And that is basically the top of the bullish band. So that is a very good trade. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully sorry, you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.